Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Yeah, my name um, Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those kind of webinars talking about JFD Invest, a genius experience for traders. Um, by the way, I can mention that we have the same kind of webinar in German as well. So if you like, there's an additional one um, that is uh, typically on Friday at uh, 4 p.m. But anyhow, and that uh, is hosted by uh, Christian Kemmerer. But uh, in this case, of course, I stick to English because that is the English webinar about JFD Invest. I have not mentioned today. Yeah, we have the 6th of December. Um, 2019 um, at uh, Friday and I hope you have the same good weather than I have here. It's cold but quite sunny so that's good and brilliant. We talk about JFD in West but let me first answer the question what is JFD in West? Okay you know JFD Bank and JFD Broker but what is JFD in West? So JFD in West is a so-called a so-called um, digital world's management platform where you can follow professional traders by copying those trades into your personal account. That means there are existing trading strategies of some professional traders and JFD in West offers the opportunity that those strategies are copied directly into your trading account, which is a special one. We will talk about a late uh, about that later. The good thing is that you can select different strategies and you can allocate a certain amount of money to those strategies. And then finally, all the trades are copied directly into your account. So finally, that means you act as a portfolio manager by selecting the right strategies according to your preferences. And we have to talk about preferences because the strategies are totally different. There are strategies more, more risky, more returns, less returns, but less risky. So we have to talk about your preferences in order to give you a guide of which strategies you should or could um, select and that those strategies are copied into your trading account. So that's JFD Invest and how to be part of that and how you can select and what kind of, of um, statistics and key figures we are offering for all those strategies. Yeah, that is the topic of today's uh, webinar. So, and uh, therefore stay tuned. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for all the greetings here in the chat and if you have any questions just use the chat for uh, additional questions here and I try to answer them as soon as possible. Okay, but before we really start you know the procedure I have always to show up once during a webinar uh, the so-called risk disclaimer. Um, it's quite obvious we talk about trading, we talk about investment um, and things like that but finally of course your decision, your responsibility, and um, that is, I think, quite self-explaining and quite obvious. Anyhow, let me start with JFD Invest um, directly at the home page. So that means I'm at the home page at uh, JFD Bank. And by the way, you might select a different language here if you like. Um, so I stick here to the English one, and uh, there you have a button which is called investing followed by JFT invest and that's exactly where we will start today. So let me first scroll down a little bit because then you 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 get a glimpse of what we are really talking here. Um, there you can see the key figures of the top five performing strategies and um, by the way I don't have the um, the email today uh, about the top performer of uh, last week, but I can tell you um, the top performer has been um, Archimedes. And so we will have a look to that one especially. But I show up with the top five performing strategies so that you get a feeling of what, of, what kind of returns 
you not it, it's wrong to say you could expect because that's always wrong we can only we can only look to the historical performance of those um, trading accounts which are indeed live trading accounts at uh, jfd bank and that's what we can have a look for simply the historical performance as you know and that's always shown on any website and any statement of any broker any historical performance is no guarantee for future behavior okay we know that and that was part of the risk disclaimer as well but at least that's what we can look for a starting point so we we are really looking for trading strategies with double digit growth numbers but you see there are already some additional key figures and those additional key figures like equity balance deviation which is a really important one and i uh, will come to that uh, in a minute as well so um so we have equity balance deviation last month's result year to date and even if you look year to date okay and um, then let's look at the top performer hyperion which has an overall return of um close to 90 percent since inception which is about two years ago um but even year to date which we have december so the year is uh, almost over but you see not that bad so that's the kind of performance we are talking about so those are five strategies in total we have 16 and i think this month we will add a few more um, during the months but now how to become part of jfd invest because that's um, what you may like if you have seen now those kind of numbers so the procedure is quite easy the first thing is you open a jfd invest profile simply by pressing the green button signing up so what does it mean no money involved it's just a registration with your email address and a given password and the good thing is you can even then have some more details about the trading strategies you will see um, a little bit more than just using the guest access which i will use um, in a minute anyhow because that is already a good picture of everything so signing up is just a registration process no money involved then if you like you might open uh, a special jfd invest account what does it mean even if you are luckily already a client of uh, jfd bank um, you might have a trading account but that's not enough for jfd invest you need a separate one which is really called the jfd invest account and what's special about that account are two things the one you might not like you cannot really trade by your own so you cannot open a trade like going long in uh, euro us dollar with 0.03 lots that you can't do you cannot really open trades so the, the that account is only meant for uh, that copy trading activities so if you follow a strategies those stra uh, those trades will be copied into exactly that account and you can you might even have several of them but uh, anyhow let's start with one the other special thing about the JFD Invest account is it has the same conditions as professional traders, meaning it has the same leverage of one to 100 for, um, for example, for Forex. So you get simply the same conditions. Uh, same conditions overall is quite important, uh, meaning even in terms of spreads, commissions, everything is the same. So there are no markups, nothing uh, like that. So if you have an JFD Invest account, then you can connect the two, your profile and the account, and then after you have deposit um, that account, then you can start copy trading, selecting strategies and get those trades copied into your account. And I got already a question about that. If there are open trades in a given strategy you want to, to follow, the open trades are never directly copied when you start following those only new trades are opened um, in your account are copied to your account as well because mm, those trades might be in, in loss might be in, in profit so only new trades after um, uh, you sign in into a given strategy so that's quite easy to get started with uh, JFT Invest but now 
let's use the guest access. Uh, and that one you can uh, try out by your own uh, later or even as we speak. Um, and then you go directly exactly to this page, find strategies. I cannot follow any strategy because it's just a guest and I, behind the guest is no account, but we can have an in-depth view on those trading strategies. So you once again have the same kind of uh, ranking here. The one on the web page is uh, updated just uh, once per day. Uh, I think it's around midnight, but I think the sequence uh, should and will be uh, pretty much the same than on the web page. So we have more uh, strategies and of course we have those kind of key figures. But now what I'm doing now the next couple of minutes is more or less the same you might do if you do your selection process. And that means you should have in mind what are your preferences, what kind of strategy you you would like to have in your account so that you can can copy those trades so that uh, you don't have to do it by yourself. It's just done by, by JFD. But um, what kind of strategy is suitable for you? Let's, let's for example, start with Hyperion. Okay, that has a brilliant return, no question. But as you see already, there's this high number, or high, uh, uh, mathematically it's a quite low number, so it's a negative uh, equity balance deviation that has to do with drawdowns of open trades. Uh, I come to that more in detail when I click on Hyperion. Um, so it seems already a little bit like the more risk, the more return. It's not a one to one uh, correlation, but so that means you have to set limits for your risk in just for your uh, selection process. What kind of drawdowns are you willing to accept? And there's no general rule for every everybody. There might be people out who say, hmm, 5% drawdown, that's a nightmare. I don't like it. That's too much for me. Okay, no problem. And other people say, oh, 30%, uh, that money is uh, money apart from anything else. Uh, I can live with higher drawdowns as well. So that is an extremely um, important question. And um, sometimes when people ask me, I ask, um, it sounds like a crazy question. How much money? How much money are you willing to lose? Hmm. Sounds like a stupid question. We want returns, but that is one of the most ex um, important uh, questions when it comes to trading and investing. It it has to do with your uh, risk profile. So it's a really important question. I, um, of course. We come to with returns as well. Okay, let's let's have a view on Hyperion because I mean that's the overall best performer at all here. Uh, so and after clicking the strategy, you see a lot of more information about any strategy. The first thing is here you see simply the growth, and so you see that the strategy has started in March um, 2018. So that's uh, not two years, but about uh, close to two years ago. Um, and overall, that was a return of that strategy. It looks really brilliant, but we see there's high volatility in the groups. And that is, there are drawdowns. So coming here from the overall top, going down here, hmm, that's a loss. So we have to think about that if such a strategy is suitable for your thinking. But that question can only be answered by yourself <laughs> and by your own, definitely. So overall growth is perfect. You see monthly return table. Okay, the perfect one would be totally green and you will see we have those. Um, for example, um, and and Jalius is uh, some of those, and I think Forex Gun is um, totally green as well. Um, but you will find out by yourself. 
So a totally green one would be perfect, but as we see already in the, the growth graph, that is, uh, yeah, goes up and down. But overall, it goes north. Perfect. But now let's talk about equity balance deviation because we have once we have two things. We have drawdowns, as you can see in the growth graph. But equity balance deviation is something more. Equity balance deviation means difference between your between equity and balance. Okay, that's a bad explanation. Um, but but if you have a trading account and you you don't have any open trade, so the two number numbers equal each other. Equity equals balance. But at the moment you have open trades, those trades might be in profit, might be in loss, and exactly that is um, shown by equity. So balance is always closed trades only. And equity is including open trades. That means there might be floating losses or floating profits. And in this case, this number of 40% means there has been a point in time when there have been floating losses of 40%. So if you would follow that strategy with 10,000 euros, that would translate to 4,000 euros. So there have been floating losses of 4%. Okay, we have to keep that in mind, but we can show that even versus time, not only the maximum number, and we realize the maximum number has been in September last year, uh, uh, around here, but you see something about the characteristic of that trading strategy Hyperion. It seems that that strategy has always quite a lot of open positions, and those yeah, might be minus, and that is reflected exactly by that graph. Um, and um, yeah, a few uh, days ago, we have been here at a minus 30% once again, now we're covering. So keep that in mind when you do your own selection process. Another quite interesting graph is equity. Equity by itself is once again, not only equity, it's uh, two lines, green, uh, unfortunately, both are green, a balance and equity, and we know already about the deviation. Okay, we don't have to talk about that anymore, but here, whoops, what has happened here? What is that step down here in that strategy? Hmm. We haven't seen that step in the growth, so that is simply a withdrawal. Okay, fair enough. I mean, that trader uh, from time to time might uh, take out some money. Um, why not? That uh, uh, is definitely the decision of that trader. Does it have any impact on you or on your money? Of course not. <laughs> uh, it's not a withdrawal on your account. Um, but therefore, if you see that kind of graph, always compare equity with growth, because then you see withdrawals and deposits, because we might have even steps up here. So scrolling down a little bit here, uh, then you see you get really quite uh, impressive information about the trading statistics. Um, what matters me uh, always is the number of uh, executed trades because I want to see statistics behind, and in this case, it's more than two cell trades ex being executed in those close to two years, which is good. So there is statistics behind, and um, not just uh, six lucky winners, uh, which makes a profit. No. Okay. If you click on instruments, you can see what instruments are being traded with that strategy that's good and maybe even there you might have preferences by your own uh, that you think okay i like indices trading indices and exactly in this case uh, hyperion would be a good fit because the majority of our trades are executed on uh, the german ducks and uh, the united states and dow jones us 30 cash here so th there are some minor uh, other trades, but anyhow, so the strategy is mainly um, trading ducks and Dow Jones. Finally, I want to show you the details. What is meant with details here? There are two important numbers, and I don't want to hide those numbers. One is a minimum investment sum. Okay, and in this case, it's 6,000 euros. So that means I talk already, you can allocate a certain amount of money to a given strategy. So in this case, you, you need minimum 6K. Otherwise, you can't even follow that strategy. You can invest more, but not less. So that is the minimum. And the other number, I don't want to hide that one. There's, for any strategy, there's a performance fee involved. Um, but 
as it means performance fee. Only if a strategy makes money, then you are charged. Only. And then from the profits, 25%. Okay, you might think, hmm, that's a lot. But on the, on the other hand, it's only in case of profits. And the other good thing is it's following the so-called high watermark principles. And high watermark principles does mean that only if your followed strategy up Hyperion reaches new highs at the month's end base, and that is an uh, important point in time, then that fee is charged. If the, we go down uh, after that uh, charging process uh, with the performance of Hyperion, hmm, only if we reach new highs, then the difference uh, would be charged with those 25%. I mentioned months end base, or you disconnect, you stop following a given strategy, uh, then it's done exactly to uh, that point in time. So those are some characteristics, and those and I always recommend really dive into those numbers in order to do um, a good decision um, on which strategies you like, which fit to your preference, yes or no. So let me go back to find strategies because um, I want to show up with uh, Archimedes, which has been the top performer of last week. And uh, Archimedes is a totally different strategy and different kind of behavior. So strategy is uh, one year, one and a half year old, no, no one and three months. Um, so that's one point. You see overall growth until July this year, it was really nearly perfect, really brilliant. And then there has been a real drawdown. Okay, we learn about that. Let's see whether that is because of open positions or because positions have reached stop loss. And I give you already the answer because of stop loss. Um, you will see in a minute why I can state that. We see that drawdown, but we see good recovery here as well. Good. So within um, four months, almost, we are back on new highs. Almost. Okay. We see that. That is uh, not a reason of uh, huge open positions that draw down. We can see, if you go once again to equity balance deviation, we see the maximum number is close to 8%. And overall, um, if you do something like a average here, that average would be maybe at minus 1%. So it's not because of open positions, it's because trades have been closed and um, because yeah, stop loss or anyhow. I press here once again the equity because really it looks crazy <laughs> a little bit, I know. And uh, all those steps, you know now the reason, uh, have been simply with troubles um, because we haven't seen those um, in the growth graph. So it's important to have a view on all of them. So here I want to share once again the traded instruments because that is a completely different list. As you can see, there are a huge list of forex pairs, um, but the majority of the trades is has been has been traded on a forex pair, which is quite exotic, uh, Euro Polish slot. Interesting, um, and that's the reason for 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 going for for especially that kind of forex pair and uh, going for some others uh, like Euro Swiss franc. Um, and the reason is the strategy behind is more for sidewards market if there's no huge movements that is um, the key element of that strategy and then trades are being executed and therefore we have those exotics here um, as well in the trading strategy so overall growth finally if you have started uh, from the very beginning absolutely good good finally um, let me let me log in to because then can show a little bit more. Uh, so I use my profile here as well, and behind that profile is um, is a real account. Um, I have started with that account with uh, 10k uh, at the very beginning of JFD Invest. Strategies might be older than JFD Invest itself. So JFD Invest started September last year, and um, my personal. Um, 
uh, my personal uh, performance track record looks like this. Okay, um, heavy increase until May this year. Then, yeah, a few strategies have been uh, reaching my personal stop loss level, and we talk about that in a minute because that you can apply as well. There are stop losses within the strategy. You don't have an influence on that, but you can say, hey, if a strategy loses a certain amount of money, I want to stop out that strategy. And that is done automatically. I show you in a minute. So, um, and then it's more going flat because I took out much risk uh, without, um, um, in well, which kind of strategies I'm following. So let me um, share with you what strategies I follow currently. And those are three, just PowerFX, Vulcano, and Angelius. And I mentioned Angelius already, so let's have a view on that. Um, so I can click there as well. Angelius is, a, um, let's say, a young strategy. Oh, yeah, and up to now, December is uh, minus, so it's not totally green. Um, but anyhow, uh, let me look whether I can show you a total green one as well uh, in a minute. Angelius is a Forex strategy, and you, you learn more and more that you can... Um, figure out those things by your own. In this case, um, those kind of symbols are being traded. Uh, yeah, as there's the majority is Euro, British pound, but it's not completely equally distributed, but uh, close to that. So interesting strategy, interesting growth, looks good. Let's have a view on equity balance deviation because that is always part of my, my um, selection process. Um, looks quite well, so no huge deviations here. Um, so looks good. So, and now let, let's assume we want to follow a strategy and what you can do then. Okay, um, let me think about following um, Butterfly. Uh, and you see, it's just pressing the button follow. Uh, of course, it's not done uh, directly. And in this case, um, let's look behind the screen here uh, in a little bit gray, but ah, this strategy is almost green. Only November has been a minus uh, month, but hmm, um, quite impressive as well. But uh, now I want to don't want to talk about too much about the strategy, just the, the opportunities you have, how you, you, you do exactly following a given strategy. And I pressed already the button follow, and now I can allocate a certain amount of money. I know minimum amount is 3K that's um, displayed here, and then I have available, I would have available 8,000 uh, euros, so I could go even higher. Uh, you can take any number, if, whatever you like. And um, then, uh, let's keep it, let's say, at the minimum level, you can apply something else, and that is risk management. Let me press that button and accept the terms. And now I can explain what it means. As the slider is at 10%, it would mean 10% of my invested uh, money here of 3K would be 300 euros. And that is then a stop loss on strategy level. It would mean if the strategy would lose or has open positions, uh, which lose more than 300 euros, because it's 10% now, all trades would be closed of that strategy and no new trade would be opened. So it's something like a stop loss level on strategy level. To find the right number, hmm, I always say, Let's have a look first to equity balance deviation. Let's have a look to drawdowns. And of course, think about, um, once again, about strategy Hyperion. And I would leave the slider at 10%. I think that would be not a good decision um, to, to survive, uh, so to say, because we have seen that on average, um, even the floating losses are higher than uh, 10%. But that is what you can apply here as well. Uh, that kind of risk management uh, stop loss on strategy level. Very good to know that. Um, finally, I hope I can find the green one. I think maybe it's Forex scan. And uh, let's see if we, oh no. 
October. October was not green, and the ongoing December is not green as well. But almost, um, and even was a quite long history. Um, so if you look for the overall growth, we we can realize there are more or less two two. Uh, steps or uh, two different slopes. Um, that has to do with the strategy itself, um, because the strategy is uh, self-dynamic, um, meaning it's adjusted by its own. Um, sometimes it's m trading more frequently and sometimes less frequently. Uh, and in this case, strategy is trading just a single instrument. It's um, Euro, US dollar. If you like that, maybe Forex gun is a good uh, strategy for you in this case. That's about JFT and West and all the things um, you you might do, you like, or you you find out for your own in order to find the right strategies, the right right money allocation. And um, I did not mention uh, one step here, so I will do it now. If you want to stop anything. In this case, for example, it follows strategy in Jalius, and I want to stop that. Hmm. Quite easy, um, pressing that button, um, and that would mean all open trades are closed more or less immediately, um, and no new trade would be opened. Uh, so it's really easy. The good thing finally is, what we do here, you can do wherever you are. You only need access to the internet, and finally, you don't need any any extra computer which is uh, online twenty four hours seven days a week. Um, Wherever you are and have access to the internet, you can log in into your pro your profile, meaning in your account, and then you can change your allocation if you like. So even on vacations, no problem. And you don't need an extra computer, which is managing everything that's done directly at JFT Bank. I hope you got a more interest about that. And if you like, or if you have any further questions uh, later, you might even send me an email uh, to s.friedrichowski at jftbank.com. Just call me Stefan. My last name is really complicated, I know, but it's in the email. Or you write an email to support at jftbank.com. That's for now. Okay. Um, enjoy your time. I think um, yes, for this year, it might be the last one because I go on vacation in two weeks. So we don't have one in two weeks from now. Um, so for me, see you next year and everything is done in the background here and that's good uh, and the same thing you might do enjoy your time see you again and uh, have a good time bye bye